While mixing my music, I try to step away from the screen now and then so I don't develop too much eye fatigue. Same thing with mixing music at too high a volume. It can cause ear fatigue. So uh, in this video, I want to show you how I'm about to use the Galaxy CM130, the SPL meter for calibrating studio monitors. Here we go. I use an 11 rack at present uh, as an interface and uh, we will get to the issue of interfaces whether they have a unity gain setting on it or not. So we come over here to my session. You can see I'm a Pro Tools user and um, on this track here, I have a auxiliary track, and I just simply called it pink. I set it on a uh, the plug-in on the track. It's it's a signal generator, and in this plug-in, it is now bypassed. On this signal generator plug-in, settings are such: RMS not peak, minus 20 dB, pink noise, not something like sine wave, pink noise, um, frequency set all the way back, level setting here, once again bypassed. Now going to this auxiliary track, which I've called pink, here, my panning is now centered, meaning if I unbypass this plug-in, the pink noise will come from both monitors um, as such. Listen. If I pan all the way to the right, the monitor on the right only will give the sound of the pink noise. Same for the left. So now, seeing that my uh, I've got it panned all the way to the left, why don't we start calibrating the left monitor first? Setting up the CM130. I'll spare you the details of the manual, which you can read for yourself. This top button is the power button. Turn it on. Max mode, uh, no need to use it. A, C button here um, is basically A weighting, which is used uh, for general sound level measurements. and. C weighting is actually what we're going to use. Now, if you look here at the right of the flashing numbers, you see it says DBA. Pressing this AC button, you'll see it change to DBC. DBA, DBC. And uh, C weighted is what we need. Let's go to the next button, fast or slow. If you look at the top here, uh, it says fast. We want slow. So real simply, we press this and top right, you'll see now it says slow. The final thing we need to do is uh, set the level so we can aim for a target of uh, a target level of, of uh, calibrating our monitors. And you see underneath level, there's uh, 40 to 70 dB, 60 to 90, and so on. Right now, you can see that it is set on 40 to 70. Now,
press level and you'll see the 40 to 70, it'll change to 60 to 90, which will be in my range. So now we're ready to uh, calibrate. Just one more important step before uh, calibrating the speakers. It is recommended that interfaces should be set at unity gain. My interface doesn't have a unity gain setting, so I have only a volume button that goes from 0 to 10. To start off, I have my volume on my interface set at 0. Both monitors are turned all the way down. I have the CM130 centered, positioned on the chair. You can use anything you'd like, like a music stand or something like that. But this works for me. Both monitors are set all the way down. Let's make sure my interface is set at zero volume. So on seven, let's go all the way to zero. Okay, that's how I'm going to start. Next step is to unbypass the pink noise plugin. You can see it working here, but there's no sound coming from the monitors. That's because my interface is set at zero. So I'm going to move to my interface now and set it to volume 5. As I begin to go back up to 5, we will begin to hear some of the pink noise coming through that left monitor because I have the plug-in panned all the way to the left. So there we are. That's set on 5. And that's sounding off. Turn our knob. It's begin to bring it up. And as I begin to bring it up, it's beginning to get louder. And the SPL meter is beginning to calibrate. That's pretty good. Okay, let's close this out with a test. 